road to GH will reveal Sidwell sitting in the dark, his whole body weighed down by the oppressive feeling of failure. He couldn't stop thinking about what had happened, the precious diamond stolen right before his eyes. Holly and her team had humiliated him, and that made his blood boil. Every detail of the escape played through his mind, from the drone strike to the moment they vanished with the valuable assets he had painstakingly gathered. A bitter feeling consumed Sidwell. To him it wasn't just about losing the diamonds, it was a crushing blow to his pride and honor, once held firmly in his hands. He felt deeply insulted, and the flames of hatred began to burn fiercely within him. He had allowed Holly and the others to escape, but next time, things would be different. Port Charles, where they had fled, appeared in his mind as the perfect destination for revenge. He knew that the city was already swamped with its own issues, from power struggles to the personal troubles of its residents. With such chaos, Sidwell would find it easy to infiltrate without facing many obstacles. He not only wanted to reclaim the diamonds, but also to punish everyone who dared betray him. Holly was Sidwell's first target. He knew she wouldn't be able to run forever. She might think she was safe after returning to Port Charles, but that was just an illusion. Sidwell was prepared to make Holly suffer for what she had done to him. In his eyes, her betrayal wasn't just an insult, it was the end of her life. He didn't just want to take her life, he wanted her to die in pain and fear, to feel the weight of his revenge pressing down on her. Sidwell's plan was meticulously laid out. He didn't just want Holly dead, her death would be a warning to others. He would slowly approach her, making her feel his presence, driving her into a spiral of fear and anxiety before he finally acted. Holly might think she had escaped Sidwell, but in the end, her fate was sealed. Holly's death, as predicted, would be filled with pain, marking the beginning of Sidwell's quest for revenge. Sidwell couldn't forget the image of his territory engulfed in flames. Brannon, the one who had caused him immense humiliation, was the direct mastermind behind that catastrophic destruction. Everything Sidwell had built with blood and sweat was reduced to ashes. The image of flames rising in the night, destroying everything he had, still haunted Sidwell. To him, this wasn't just a battle for power, it was a monumental betrayal that he couldn't overlook. Sidwell knew that despite his fierce determination, his strength in Port Charles was still too weak compared to larger forces like Sonny Corinthos. To carry out his plan for revenge and expand his power, he realized that he couldn't act alone. This drove Sidwell to seek out allies who shared his goals, those who also wanted to take down Sonny and seize his territory. Through careful research into the situation in Port Charles, Sidwell quickly realized that some of Sonny's enemies could become potential allies. One of the first names that came to mind was Cyrus. Cyrus, a notorious crime boss with big ambitions, had clashed with Sonny many times, but had yet to completely defeat him. With a deep-seated grudge against Sonny, Cyrus could be the perfect ally for Sidwell in his plan to take over Port Charles. In addition to Cyrus, Heather, a dangerous and unpredictable madwoman caught Sidwell's attention. Heather was always involved in dark schemes and never hesitated to create chaos. Although Heather's personality was erratic, Sidwell understood that if he could win her over, she would be a formidable ally capable of causing chaos and weakening Sonny's system from within. Valentin was the final name on Sidwell's list. Valentin, with his wealth and complex relationships in the city, had his own personal vendettas against Sonny and those around him. Although Valentin was smart and ruthless, Sidwell recognized that if he could persuade Valentin to join his plan, both of them would stand to gain significantly. Valentine would bring strategic cunning to the table and could help Sidwell access resources he hadn't yet acquired. Sidwell planned to approach each person individually, presenting clear benefits and promising to share power once Sonny was overthrown. Each of them had their own reasons for wanting Sonny gone from Port Charles. And Sidwell calculated that with the combined strength of the group, they could topple Sonny and seize the territory he had controlled for so long. Sidwell's plan didn't just stop at revenge against Holly. It expanded into a full-scale war for control over Port Charles. With the help of Cyrus, Heather, and Valentin, Sidwell hoped to build his own empire, defeat his enemies, and usher in a new, ambitious chapter in his life. 
the madness in his mind continued to grow. For Sidwell, revenge wasn't merely an act of retaliation, it was a battle to reclaim everything he had lost. Those like Holly, Lucky, Jason, and everyone else involved would pay with their lives. Sidwell was certain that with the chaos in Port Charles, no one could stand in his way. His plan was clear. Return to Port Charles, regain power, and make every traitor pay dearly. He wouldn't stop until everyone had fallen at his hands. Hatred and the desire to reclaim his position drove him forward, and this time, no one would escape Sidwell's wrath. Thank you.